Welcome back to Living Local. It's time to tap into your creativity in a unique way. Today we're learning about acrylic pour painting. It's a technique that produces one-of-a-kind works of art. Even if you've never painted before or don't consider yourself an artist, this is something that anyone can do. All you need are the right supplies and a little know-how. Joining me in studio, you have Bobby and Ronnie Osborne. They are poor paint instructors with Ronnie Claire Crafts. Ladies, thank you so much for being here on Living Local. Thank, thank you for having, having us. us. So before we get to the painting, tell us a little bit about what attracted you to the creative arts. I've always been involved in creative arts and I encourage my children to be involved too. I think technicalities can be learned, but creative arts have to be experienced. Definitely, and that experience can give anyone of any age a great opportunity to express themselves. It can be an escape. It can also just be an incredible therapy, really, if you just Absolutely. need some time to relax. and. It's just plain fun. So today we're talking specifically about acrylic pour painting. I have never heard of this technique in my entire life. So what is it? It's paint flow gone amok. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a it's a, a flowy art mm -hmm. uh, using various things that are mixed with acrylic paint. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, like I said, it's it's paint gone amok. You pour it onto the canvas. There's there, it's unlimited ways to do it. Uh, your imagination is the only thing that stops you. Wonderful. And uh, just uh, one thing to point out. So Ronnie Claire Crafts is named after Me. this sweet girl here, <laughs> Ronnie Claire, which is wonderful. And uh, we brought our demonstration today. Okay, so show us how it works. I cannot wait to see this. Okay, well, I want to first show you a couple of things that we use. Okay. Um, and things that we do to make it easier for us. Mm -hmm. And what you're going to be do using is a paint extender in your paint, and we use a silicone. Okay. That can be unlimited products, so it's really hard to define it as one thing. You could even use glue. Um, we put tape around the back of our paintings and, and push pins because you want it to be able to flow off the A canvas. little elevated, okay. Um, we, we're not gonna do this today, but usually we use cups, mm -hmm. and we will be using this cup, so. Ronnie brought you your favorite colors. My favorite colors. So Bobby was talking on the phone. She's like, what are your favorite colors? I said, I'm really girly girl. I like hot pink and purple. So they hooked me up with my favorite colors, which I'm super pumped about. Since it's so close to Halloween, she's going to do some Halloween colors. Very festive. Um, you do want to wear your gloves. OK, this let's is get some gloves on here. Absolute messy procedure. Well, I guess you'll need the gloves since you're going to be demonstrating. Or are should you going to be doing them too? OK, I'll be doing them too. So I'll we'll get my gloves Oops. on. I forgot your gloves. Okay. <laughs> Ronnie's like, it's okay, I'm fine. We have paper okay. towels. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, what is the first step to acrylic pour painting? Okay, so the first step is, is since we already have everything made mm -hmm. up, you're going to start putting your paints. Okay, so should I start with the white? Uh, any color. Oh, any color. And okay. you're just going to layer them. Oh, you layer them. Okay. You want to do this? You just want to layer them. So do you generally use three colors or can you use as many colors? We use all kinds of colors. Okay. We've done as few as two colors. We've done 10 colors. Oh, wow. Okay, so you can really, the, the options are endless. Okay. Pink. You want to go a little bit more than half full. Oh, a little bit more than half full. Okay, and then you can go between the colors too. So you can yes. add a little here, add a little there. Perfect. And you can see it starting to get little it cells inside is. of it. It is. That's so cool already. That's from the silicone. So mine is a little more than half full. So. Maybe a little okay. bit right, more. Okay, I can add a little bit more purple and a little more hot pink there. Okay. So once we get the cup filled a little more than halfway with our paint of choice, I'm curious what the next step is. Okay. You want to shower? Yeah. So you take it off. Okay. And you flip the canvas upside down onto the cup. This is so cool. And you pick up the cup and you hold it. Okay. And then you quickly flip it around. And then just leave the cup on it. Leave it, and then do we set it down? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You want to give it a couple seconds to let the paint A little flow. tap, a little drum set here. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. <laughs> if you want to move it around a little bit, that oh. helps also mix up the paint, but don't okay. lift it yet. Don't lift. Okay. Just kind of move it around a little bit. And then what do we do? Do we let Before it sit? All right. And then we we take it and we kind of tilt it while pulling it. Okay. But not too fast. But not too fast. Because you don't want to go past the pads. Okay. So you go like 
just like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, okay, let's see if I can do this. <laughs> okay, just like You're that. <laughs> That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And then it's just tipping. And then you just kind of tip it over yeah. the canvas there, so but not it too spreads fast. not too fast. And then you cut. It's like the paint has a mind of its own. It almost. does. That's what I was saying. Paint gone a gone them up. It has definitely. So you guys host classes teaching people how to do this. Yes. So uh, tell me a little bit about what people can expect in, expect in the classroom experience. Um, we're going to actually show them the supplies that we use mm -hmm. and the products that we use to make it easier. And on them, uh, they'll have a paper to take home with them that describes the process, shows the process. We're going to do a little bit of colorology, mm -hmm. um, showing them, and we're going to show them about three or four different techniques. Oh, so there are more techniques. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay, so how did you discover acrylic pour painting? Because, again, it's something that's really new to me. We, we saw it online, and we just started researching it, and it's very easy when you're trying to research products and stuff online to totally get lost in it. Definitely. Um, there's because there's so many different products and stuff that can be used. Oh my goodness! So and we just we just started playing with it, and as you can see, it's a lot of fun. It's it messy, is. and as you we just keep on going. We just enjoy doing it so much. Yeah, you guys brought in some beautiful examples here, just of, of the wide array of colors that can be used. Um, so if people are interested in taking one of your classes, give us the details. We're going to be doing classes at Midnight Perfumery in Rock Island. Um, our first class is, or actually our first class is this Sunday, and I think there's still a couple openings if anybody wants to sign up for them. Oh, it sounds like a blast. Yours is looking amazing. I Thank love that. You. I feel bad that I stole the uh, gloves from you, but oh. nothing. That, we can wash acrylic paint off. Yeah. It's no big deal. Well, Ronnie and Bobby, thank you guys so much for the lesson in acrylic pour painting today. Look at that. It's just a beautiful work of art, and thanks to you guys for the instruction. Thank you for Thank having you for us. having <laughs> us. For more information, you can find Ronnie Claire Crafts on Facebook. We'll also have those details posted on ourquadcities.com. More Living Local continues after the break. Stay with us.